offensive coordinator Pat Shermer. I want to discuss the impact you'll think he'll have on this offense. He was asked about, you know, play calling duties last year and just that whole situation going, you know, with Sean Lewis and stuff. Take a look. I felt in a couple of those games we had a chance to win, you know, um, but that last year was just kind of finishing up something that, you know, I think coach made the point sometimes it's hard to cook in somebody else's kitchen, you know, because you can't really change anything at that point. Your team is pretty set, um, you know, but I don't know if that's a springboard. What I do know is uh, we were able to kind of reset it the way we wanted to. Um, you know, the guys went out and got us some new players. You know, we feel, felt like we need to go get more quality big men, you know, and then we install an offense that works for us. And um, so I feel like it's uh, a new start moving forward. You know. New start moving forward. Matt, discuss how, how much of an impact or the type of impact you think Sherman will have on the Colorado offense. Huge. I think he's going to have a huge impact. He's going to have a more NFL, you know, NFL edge to it rather than the spread edge. And Coach Lewis is a great coach. He's going to do awesome at San Diego State. Mm -hmm. It just, I don't think it was a good fit. It, 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 you know, Coach Prime, I thought when he hired him, it was a good fit having another head coach running the offense, but there was there was something disconnected. Mm -hmm. um, I think Pat, you know, he was in Denver for a while. He's not the best offensive coordinator or head coach in the NFL. He's had his struggles, mm -hmm. but he's a consistent coach that has a ton of experience, has been around so many good players, and obviously Coach Prime trusts him to to you know have the keys to the car with the offense. I think I think he's going to do a great job. You know, I I I don't think that he he's probably hasn't had this kind of weaponry in a long, long, long fucking time. Like you don't have that. I remember the old Pete Carroll quote was, you know, before the, he left SC in the middle of their heyday back in the day, they'd be like, "Well, Pete, why don't you go to the NFL?" And he go, "Well, why would I go to the NFL when I can get 15 first rounders a year at USC and I only get mm -hmm. one first rounder in the NFL?" And of course, he ended up going because of all of the broken rules from the fucking NCAA and shit that was all bullshit. Yeah. But that's the same thing with 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 Pat. I think that he's looking at this and going, "Holy shit, man! I got a lot of talent here. We got some players." He brought up the offensive line and replacing so many offensive linemen and having a new opportunity there. I just—it's amazing to me that people can't see it. Mm -hmm. Like I, mm -hmm. I, I could I could see it last year that there was some special players. Okay, and I thought I thought they would be six and six, and they should have been. Mm -hmm. Minimum, they lost six games by one score. But again, I think those elite players that were there last year, they lost six games by one score. That's not fun. Mm -hmm. That sucks. Yeah. So I think that it's all going to feed and like feed off of each other and just keep the fire burning. Yeah, no doubt. And one of those weapons I wanted to discuss was FAU transfer LeJonte Wester. Um, here we have a practice clip. Shador seems to have a pretty clean pocket here. He gets a deep pass off to him. Take a look here and we can discuss further. Yeah, so Shepard's nice, dog. I'm talking about LeJonte Wester from FAU. Said. She's a transfer receiver. He kind of got a little sprinkle of him in the spring game here. Shador hit him on a deep bomb here. Um, and it's just another guy, right? So yeah. it's, now you've got four, it. five, six receivers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, if you can just rotate in a different dude, like last year that Dawson kid blew up in the Nebraska game. We never saw him again. Mm -hmm. Like there's going to be circumstances and opportunities for guys to go out and really make plays. They are so deep in the skill positions, dude. I mean, it is unreal how deep they are. So, again, they've matched the skills with bigs now, and it's. I think they're going to be super scary. Yeah. And Shador, Shador, I don't think there's enough footballs to go around. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Because you think about it, you still got the kid from the SC game, O'Marion Miller. I think he's still there as well. You got, um, I mean, obviously, you have Wester, you got Shepard. Jimmy Horn, Travis will be obviously a huge weapon. I have to shoot. I don't, yeah, like you said earlier, I don't know how you don't see what's coming. I really don't. I think they'll be really transformed, especially under Shermer, who will bring that NFL element to this offense. I mean, they all, Deion says he's running an NFL program where we're going to really find out, you know, come week one, North Dakota State, you know. Yeah.